this, and I know you wrote an article about this. The fan base seems really divided, it's, to me surprisingly so, about uh, Kevin Stefanski. Um, take us through that and kind of, I, I know you wrote about, you know, your thoughts on Kevin Stefanski and kind of analyzing it. Yeah, it, actually, I wrote about it, and so did Jim Ingram. And Jim's was kind of saying how there's two sides. Either you love him or you hate him, right? You need it. You say he's got to come back or you don't. And then I, I wrote about how I thought the win over the Ravens was a huge step for Stefanski and this team because, you know, they were not mathematically eliminated, but all but eliminated from the playoffs with that loss to the Bengals. So to me, that's always a question. How is the team going to respond? And if you don't respond in a positive way and if you don't play with effort and intensity – then that's a bad sign on the coaching staff, right? And then I think that opens a lot of questions within the organization. And it looks like you're dysfunctional if your team's not playing hard. Well, I thought they answered that against the Ravens. Now, you know, they need to continue to do that. But I thought that was a big step for Stefanski. And, you know, if, you're, if your record is close to what it was a year ago, then and you had all the turmoil of quarterback, it, it just seems like it would be a really um, – extreme let's go with that extreme move to change coaches right a coach that has a winning record a coach that has provided stability i know that that even keel his even keel personality rubs some people the wrong way some fans the wrong way and they want more you know excitement more anger on the sideline but i do think in the long haul there's a lot of good things that come from having the take the same approach day in and day out that Kevin Stefanski just never deviates from. Yeah, you know, fans might think that's interesting. Players, I don't think – that's usually how you lose a locker room is when you're all over the place. That's the quickest way to get guys that are getting beat up um, on Sundays to, to kind of turn their, their shoulder.